Hi everyone, Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. And today I'm excited to introduce you to one of my favorite apps, ChatGPT. Whether you're looking for quick answers, recipe ideas, writing help, or even a friendly conversation, ChatGPT can help you with all of that and more right from your iPhone or iPad. And don't worry, I'll walk you through everything step-by-step step in a way that's simple, clear, and perfect for beginners or seniors. Let's get started. ChatGPT is an app made by the company OpenAI. Think of it like a super smart helper or assistant you can talk to anytime just by typing or using your voice to create a message. You can ask it questions like, what's a good substitute for eggs in a recipe? Help me write a birthday message for my grandson. Or even, what are the top places to visit in Italy? And it will give you answers in plain English, no tech talk, no confusion. Let's first start by installing the app. So you're going to want to open up the App Store. And mine is located under Utilities, but if you can't find it, come into the App Library, tap into App Library, and start typing App. The App Store will appear. Tap on it to open it. Then you want to tap on this search icon in the bottom right corner. And then in the search bar, type in Chat GPT. And what you're going to locate is this ChatGPT app that's made by OpenAI. So here it is. This is the one we want. I already have it uh, downloaded onto my um, iPhone. And so you'll just need to tap to download to add that to your app library. Once it's installed, tap open. When you open the app for the first time, you'll need to sign in or create an account. If you already have an account, just sign in with your email and password. If you don't have an account yet, tap sign up. You can choose to use your Apple ID, a Google account if you have one, or your email address. Follow the steps. It's just like signing up for any other app. Once you're in, you'll see a blank screen where you can start chatting. Now, here's the fun part. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a message that says, Ask Anything. Just tap that space. You'll see the cursor begin to flash, and here you can type in a question or your request. Here are a few easy ideas. Give me five easy lunch ideas. So if I type that in, and tap on the up arrow to send it, you'll see that ChatGPT gives me some ideas for five quick lunch, you know, ideas. One of the things I use ChatGPT for, which did an amazing job for me, was I turned 65 this year, and I wanted to know more about Medicare. So I'm going to tap on these little lines in the upper left corner. And here's a history of everything that I've typed in previously to chat GPT. If I scroll down, I should eventually, I hope, find, ah, here we go, best Medicare plan options. And so you'll see this, I had this whole conversation with ChatGPT, and I started off with a question. Let me come back to the very beginning. What are the best Medicare plans for me? And then ChatGPT asked me questions. I answered them, and it gave me some amazing information. So once you tap on send, ChatGPT will reply in just a few minutes or just a few seconds, and you can keep chatting with it just like texting with a friend. So when you have more questions, you add them to the Ask Anything space, hit send, 
and ChatGPT will continue that conversation. Here are some of the most helpful ways to get started for seniors who want to use ChatGPT. You can use it for writing help. Say you need to write a thank you note, a greeting card, or an email. Just ask ChatGPT to help you write it. So I'm going to again tap on these little lines where my history of ChatGPT uh, Chat questions are. And I have one here, thank you note writing. And so ChatGPT can help you with that. It can give you some ideas. Just make sure that everything looks correct. You can change things if you want. ChatGPT does a really good job. So I asked it to create a few different things for me, and it came up with a bunch of ideas to write a thank you note. Cooking ideas. Tell it what ingredients you have in your kitchen, and it'll suggest a recipe. Daily planning. Ask it to help you make a grocery list or plan a weekly schedule. If you want to learn something new, ask it to explain something like what is cryptocurrency or how does high blood pressure work in simple terms. If you want to use it for entertainment, you can ask for jokes, trivia questions, or short stories. Let's talk about a few quick tips to make it easier to use. You can speak instead of type. So you want to make sure that the first thing you do is be sure that you have the microphone enabled for ChatGPT. So if I come out of ChatGPT, I come into settings. If I come all the way to the bottom and select apps, and then I tap on C in the right-hand corner, and I select ChatGPT, you'll see that I have the microphone turned on. So you want to make sure that the microphone is turned on. I'm going to swipe halfway up the screen, and I'm going to come back into ChatGPT. So if we want to start with a clean slate or a blank page because we're starting a new topic with ChatGPT, tap on the lines in the upper left corner and tap on ChatGPT. Now you'll have a clean slate and you can go ahead and I'm going to tap on the microphone and say, create a recipe with chicken. I'm going to tap on send. It'll transcribe it. And now it will begin and give me an idea of an easy chicken recipe that I can create. Uh, you can use larger text if the text feels too small. Swipe down from the upper right corner with your finger to come into the control center. Locate the double A's. Um, I did a video on the control center. You can look for that. But I have a double A there. I'm going to tap on it. And here I can choose just chat GPT or I can have it increase the text size in all of my apps for right now, I am just going to go with ChatGPT. I'm just going to drag it up a couple. I'm going to tap anywhere to get out of it. And it'll increase the text size in ChatGPT. Say you want to move this recipe to somewhere else. If I push and hold on any of the texts, I can go ahead and select all of the text. And if I want to, I can go ahead and copy that and move it to, say, my email or a message if I want to send it to somebody or even the Notes app. So if I open the Notes app, let's create a new note. So I'll tap on New Note at the bottom. I'll push and hold on the flashing cursor. I'll get the Paste option, and I can go ahead and copy and paste that from ChatGPT into another uh, app that I want to save it in. The free version of ChatGPT is great and perfect for most people. If you ever see the words upgrade to plus, that refers to the paid version. It's faster and has more features, but you don't need it to get started. So, Let's come in and take a look at uh, where the settings are located so you can see paid versus free. If I tap on the lines in the upper left corner and I tap on my name, 
Here you'll see all of the settings that are available that you can go through and kind of check out. But you'll see here that I have a subscription to ChatGPT+. Plus. It costs $20 a month. You can stick with the free version until you're comfortable. You may never need the paid version. I have so many people that I know that use the free version and they're perfectly fine with that. A couple of reminders, don't share personal information like social security numbers, passwords, or banking info. ChatGPT is smart, but it's not perfect. Always double check important info, especially medical or financial advice. Think of it like a helpful guide, not a doctor or lawyer. That's it. Now you've got a friendly, helpful assistant right in your pocket, whether it's answering your questions, writing messages, or just having a chat. ChatGPT is here to help make your day a little easier. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend who might find it helpful. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.